Uh, firstly, on that vote today, do you think it's likely to go through? And if so, what would that really mean for Brexit? Yes, after that uh, defeat, uh, for the first time of asking uh, a vote from an approval from Parliament, Boris Johnson, the new Prime Minister, uh, lost that rather decisive uh, by 27 uh, MPs, by 27 votes. So, yes, I think that the opposition MPs and alliance, as they're being called, uh, could, and we'll have to see if they do, uh, win a, a vote after a debate this afternoon. And, of course, that would take... Uh, the no deal off the table, it would enshrine it in law, it would, uh, if, of course, it gets through A, in time, uh, and that means that not just would it need the approval of the House of Commons, but it also needs the approval of the upper chamber, the House of Lords. Uh, and what I think uh, would, we would see immediately afterwards uh, is very much what Boris Johnson said as he rose to his feet at the dispatch box moment after the result and that defeat uh, was announced last night in the House of Commons around about 10 past 10 London time. And that is that he would put down a motion, a government motion, to call for an early general election. That idea of the early general election, Benedict, I mean, you were telling us yesterday he needs the parliamentary approval, doesn't he? So if he even gets that, when might this general election happen? Well, if is a little word, but it's a big proposition. Why? Because until uh, a few years ago, a prime minister could call an election, him or herself. That is no longer the case. We have a five... Yeah, it's a, a fixed-term parliament, so another election is not due officially till 2022. Uh, but uh, he would need two-thirds of a majority in the House of Commons, and it doesn't seem like, particularly in the light of last night, the House of Commons uh, would be willing to do that. And by the way, may I also underline the fact that the opposition that has been calling for months, years even, uh, its leader, Jeremy Corbyn, uh, the leader of the Labour Party, uh, doesn't seem minded to grant him and to whip their MPs in favour of a general election uh, because they first want this law to be passed to take no deal off the table or if, if the Prime Minister, as he says he can, uh, because he says that the UK is having extensive talks uh, with the EU, which it would seem uh, the EU doesn't agree with that assessment at all. They don't. They say they haven't seen concrete proposals. Um, so it doesn't look like the House of Commons is minded to uh, grant him that. So we could be in a situation where Boris Johnson asks for a general election, doesn't get an early general election. When could it come? Well, we had talked about the 14th of October, but it now seems that the government would be minded to try and uh, have a general election on the 15th uh, of October. In other words, before that crucial EU summit uh, on the 17th and 18th, in order, he thinks, to win it, change the mathematics in the House of Commons uh, so that he could be in a strong position to go to the EU and try and obtain a deal. That's a lot of ifs, um, and it's clearly another momentous key day here, not just for Brexit, uh, which could be delayed till the 31st of January 2020 for starters, uh, but also for this Prime Minister, very new Prime Minister, if he was to fail and to be defeated in general election, he would enter the record books as the shortest-serving British Prime Minister. OK, Benedict, well, we will indeed be checking in with you again as that vote gets underway for now. Thanks indeed, Benedict.